right. All right, I'm in. All right, I'm in like Flynn. This is it. This is the moment. This is the opportunity we've been waiting for. We are going to do it. This is the day I feel it. It's in my blood. I got the shirt. I got the football right here in my hand. <laughs> we gonna do it in NYG. We gonna do it in NYG. The best place to do it. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yep. And it won't be six. Here's the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started. And we are underway from that live stadium. That a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Oh, they, they talking about the when I played Bear, man. That Bear game was crazy. I had never played against the Saints at all and they came at me like I owed them money yes sir that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start yep I wouldn't have let that slide and 12 and that's exactly what you're looking for at the inside linebacker spot versatility he can drop into coverage, or as he did on that last play, use his speed to get to the perimeter and knock the ball carrier for a loss. Yeah, I knew you wanted to hit that running back out the flat. <laughs> Finding the path to the QB there. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Off play action, Jones. What? How you leave him not open on that play? On that play alone. Oh, third and twenty-two. But they allowed a conversion. Gonna give this time to the tailback, and he'll be taken. Oh, we cannot fall apart. We cannot fall apart. Into second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. They'll run for the first time with Deion Lewis. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. The Bucs with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Now a handoff here to his Oh, my God. Can somebody please make a tackle? Right there. Once he got loose, you can tell that he is going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. Now Jones, off play action. That's complete to Goldman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. For another first down, it will. First and goal at the seven yard line. Operating from the gun. Jones. Oh, jeez. He's got it. Touchdown, Giants. That's a golden tape. There to make the grab. That yeah, that play screwed me up. Third and 23. I failed, y'all got. And get this home crowd behind him early as well. Yeah, that's a huge part of it, isn't it? Because you get the home crowd involved, but sometimes you can ride that wave, and that gives you a little added pep. <laughs> Brady and the Bucks now with a first and ten at their own twenty-one. 
He's back to throw here to start the drive. Oh, now, I got rid of that ball, sir. Now, CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, Somebody we said that was easy. It was yeah, third and 23. That was not easy. <laughs> We gave up an easy play that never should have stood. That's what the part that got me. Alright, now it's back to third and ten. They have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Mm. Jesus Christ. You knocked my guy off his route. Which was smart. They do go for it. It's Brady. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Oh wow, now he don't even go down. And his guys are gonna take over at the 31 yard line. The Giants take over first and ten at the 31 yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and ten. From the gun, Jones. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up I should have punted the ball. <laughs> Two seconds to go, first quarter. And to give this time to the tailback. And he is we got to stop the run. The That's what we got to do. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. After one, seven, nine, Here we go again. Sports. Back in this situation. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Throwing Jones. Sets up the screen to Lewis. Going to say, no, no, no. <laughs> you are not going to get that. Oh, wow. Yeah, you do play a smart game. <laughs> Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still. Ended up with a solid game. And this one is right down Broadway. And the lead moves to See, what he's doing is putting pressure on my offense to provide points. <laughs> he's taking points no matter if he's in range, he's taking it. See, he plays like a real game of football. Me, I'm all or nothing. <laughs> Me, I risk it all. I'd be fourth and 23. We still think we can get to the mark. No, no. I hit the wrong dot, damn it. That's that karate kid. I'm looking at X, and I'm throwing the R1. Damn. Yeah, made the damn mistake again. Man, putting all this pressure on my boys. Oh my god. Like what were y'all thinking? And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. Here Jones gets it out quickly complete. And he'll go that should never be the case, people. The never should be the case. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Check 
Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Third down and five. Operating from the gun. Jones. Oh! oh Why? <laughs> See how they do me? Where's supposed to be my pick to the house? I don't get mine. And bring up fourth down. And the 11 year veteran bangs it through. And that'll push the lead up to. But my defense is holding. You know what I'm saying? So. I just got to stop turning over the ball, man. I got to put up some points now. We got to get in the game. Right, I'm giving it all away early. I gotta just take what's there, you know. Just play my game. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Now Brady. This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. Gain on the play there. It'll be second down. That's a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Blitz coming and down he goes. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless really in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And it appears that this was just a letdown from the offensive line, but they do have a tough job because if you're a big tackle out there on the perimeter, sometimes you don't have the agility to keep up with the defensive end. He's looking to wreak havoc in the backfield. And he got there and put his man on the ground. Yeah, the next gen stat's gonna show Go blame the karate kid for that. <laughs> Right, because I never do that. I'm hitting that button by accident, so I'm so used to playing Cobra Kai. I'm doing the damn commercial. I'm doing the damn celebrating. I had to get my hand off that button. No. Right, and then I screw it all up right there. Jones on first and ten. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. An excellent way to start the drive there. 18 yards. He'll buy some time right. He'll try and run it. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Three yards the gain there, second down. At the 40-yard line, it's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. From the gun, Jones. Over the middle, complete to Tate. And he gets it down to the 32. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Operating from the gun, Jones. Flushed out right. I mean, did he try to jump kick the dive on quarterback? What was he doing? Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Throwing again on second down. Jones, he'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Seven yards there and a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? 
steps away to his left. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target, and it's second down. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Rolling, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. The Bucks' defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passes. Yeah, my D is doing their job. <laughs> out of this game, we've been losing on field goal. <laughs> this is the weirdest game ever. I mean, you literally have kicked about, what, three, three full field goals right now? Still been able to come away with points due to his leg. And they will not get a chance to return this one. Yeah. It's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Leonard Williams picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Another try after the first down sack. Brady, oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. down Brady looking downfield for Godwin and he bats it away and it falls down incomplete he was looking for Chris Godwin that time and that'll bring up second down Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten to throw again Brady and that's oh hell no ten seconds left Looking downfield for Garrett, and that's caught inside the 35. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal. Hey, I can't kick field goals, so. From the right hash, this from 48. See? See, I can't kick field goals, so I don't know how to kick. My kicking game is suspect. I should have just went for the touchdown. <laughs> I mean, really, I should have just went for the touchdown. I cannot kick field goals. I don't know what it is, man. I can be 20 yards away and can't make a field goal, and that could cost us the game. Shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. I mean, yeah, we were driving, but set to begin their next possession. They come out here with a zero right. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because. We often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. A big seam, and he might go all the way. The 20. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin, 71 yards. And the Bucs are able to cut into that deficit. 
Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find him at the wide receiver position, and that was special there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second. Yeah, it is weird. When he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And if you look at the next-gen stats, you'll see that he topped out at an even 21 miles an hour. Bradley following the touchdown now. It's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Yeah, it didn't hurt me to go for it there. Five yards deep. It's going to hurt me if he get another yard. yard line for the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead the big way. The best way to do it. Touchdowns. And he slips up past the first oh. tackle. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. They run with Lewis out of the gun. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Damn good play. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, Jones finds his tight end, Ingram. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Now Jones. Now they go screen. It's complete. They'll contain him to just four, second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Dancing to his left. The Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. These guys had to settle for a field goal their last time moving the ball down the field. They may have to do it again on this drive. That could be frustrating. Yeah, I don't want to be All right, here we go. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting on. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. And now before this fourth and two, <laughs> time out. It's just the first as they burn one here in this third quarter. Oh man! So to the kicker again. He's been a busy man thus far. Oh, cheating bear, rooting for Jamil. Gano's kick is good, and that will stretch the lead up to thirteen. Yeah. So oh, cheating bear. So I gotta work on my user game. I'm just a little off. Well, we we still in it. It ain't over yet. And tackled at the 21 yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Thanks for that, bro, man. 
The Bucks offense set to begin there. No, it ain't as season. early as it, you, as it should be. On first and ten, here's Brady. He'll set up the screen to Fournette. Finally. There we go. We did that last time. Now, see, now he raving for the Saints. Then when I play the Saints again, then he gonna know what's up. You worry about is can the quarterback get rid of the ball before he's actually tackled? So your offensive lineman have to hold up the rushers a little bit because you want to make sure you keep your guy's jersey clean throughout the game. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Wide open receiver complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. It's Buccaneer football, but they've got work to do. They've... And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Cameron Bray there to make the grab. And the Bucs are able to make this a close game again. He got it figured out by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone. Yeah, I know. I just got to keep you out of field goal range. But at least my defense has been keeping you out the end zone. That's the thing that's important. We making steps. There we go. Come on, baby. This is amazing. This is the first time I've seen you really pass it. I've never seen you really pass. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What the, geez, the second oh, no, come on. Yeah, we had that, boys. We, now, you know we practiced. <laughs> we practiced to destroy that play. He's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up. And then, of course, by deed with his play. My school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. Throwing on second and three. Jones eluding the pressure right. Finding Stuart Shepard for his first catch. What was that? And he almost made it, but just short. Finally out of bounds. Right down around the goal line. A big play there on the catch and run. 73 yards. A breakdown in coverage right there. Nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know this. And he will take it on in oh. for a giant touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. And they just powered it in right there, Charles. Three tight ends out on the field. The fullbacks for the defense, they knew what was coming. They knew, but they weren't able to stop them. They knew they had to meet them with a little bit of force. But on that play, the big guys up front won the day. Popular down near the goal line. Quick slant. Nice job there to get in, knock it away. It was one of the other Man. things you're concerned about when you throw that route is to make sure your offensive linemen use their leverage to get the hands of the defensive front down. So you can and we give up the touchdown right there. Get it to the receiver. In this event, they How we going to do that, fellas? It ain't game yet. To begin their next possession, and they're hoping to redo their efforts. The yeah, they said the game. The and just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust, because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them. And give you a big play now with a sense of urgency no doubt over the middle and it's incomplete from the snap he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball but surprise that guy was covered that took his attention elsewhere to no avail from the gun on third down brady he'll drop this underneath for jones and 
close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They'll go with a big bank for it in. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert. Yeah, I know. Fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. From midfield, here's Brady. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Blake Martinez, the linebacker, was there in coverage to disrupt. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 22-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Brady now on first down. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Tom Brady to his old Patriot pal, Rob Gronkowski. Yep. And the Bucs have made this a one-score game. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his Here we go, another close game, man. Damn. Well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. I got all my time out. We just gonna have to get the stop of all stops. This is it. This is it. Come on, guys. The stop of all stops right here. Bring everything. <laughs> the Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the no, no. Or do you throw it? I think you have that conversation. <laughs> no, you no, no. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Giants football you back now this is a big third down and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here now they set up the screen Woo! <laughs> I smelt that one we'll I smelt it baby <laughs> and surprisingly this is the first punt of the game for either team oh he punts it man come on give us a good punt return block Cut back. Found good room to run there. Returns it for All right, this is the drive, fellas. This is the drive. Let's go. All the mistakes, everything. We could correct it right here. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, and their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. All right, that was that was dirty. Right now, as this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. He'll look to throw. And wait, the tight end's got it. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A gain of 13. It's a first down. First down. To throw is Brady. He's got his big tight end, Gronkowski. And they're well past. 
across midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Open man, Gronkowski complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. And Boyd has it over the middle. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 more on that one and another first down. Back to throw. No! I'm mad at myself because I picked the wrong play to start the drive. I didn't know what play I picked. Damn! <laughs> Damn! Right! I know my right. I, that was the play I didn't even choose. I hit the button too fast and I didn't want to burn one of my timeouts. And I should have. That's why I went to focus to look at the route of the play. Because I'm like, man, where's the, what's the play here? Damn. Good game. So a victory here Good game. The New York Giants. And I, think you'd have to label this an upset I was thinking I screwed up because I'm like, man, I messed my play up. I picked the wrong play. That's why I had to look back. You saw me look at the play. I zoomed out so I could see the route because I didn't know which play I picked. Then that's the thing the crowd Oh man. In this game. Yeah, they were not going to be pushed around. They were not going to be intimidated. They refused to back down and came away with a victory. Exactly. That was the play I wanted. <laughs> but I hit the button too quick. My partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon God. This has been a presentation of the NFL on E. I hit the button too quick, and we ended up where we were. From that life stadium. And I'm thinking we got this because I got the play right here, situated, ready to roll. And we didn't get it. <laughs> we did not get it. We jagged another game we should have won. Gosh, man. Oh, man. Good game, man. I'll tell you, this Jamil, he said, I thought you had me. I thought I had you, too. <laughs> this was my moment. <laughs> this was going to be the most glorious moment in my Madden playing history. This dude has won all these games by less than, like, seven points. They've all come to the wire. Every game has been coming to the last possession. We've been having some wars, though. Jamil's the king right now. He's really the king. We got to take him down. All right, Bear. Are you next, Bear? Are you too scared? See, Bear ain't even here. We might have to run it back. All right, we're going to run it back then. You can invite multiple people to play. How that work? No, now you talking about play to Bill. <laughs> See, that's what I do, Jamil. I run them off the sticks. I run them off the sticks. That's what I do. Nah, he's like play to He wanna he wanna see some more of my plays. That's why.
Yeah, they've been close. I'm getting close now. This is it. This is it. James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Just a short time ago, the Buccaneers emerging from their tunnel to the roar of this frenzied crowd here in the Sunshine State. And we're in the big ship, and fittingly, everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up with the <laughs> Giants. I thought I had it. I thought I had it. I said, this is it. This is the drive. Everything was working great. We had the, we had enough clock to get it done. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it. Most offenses don't expect to have five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. But when this ball's tipped in, Here we go with the bullshit. <laughs> right off. Right away. It gets tipped in the air, and there we go. They may have thrown the interception, obviously. Less and this is how it starts. Also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that like a nine-nine-nine route? Nine meaning go. Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, trying to fit it into Shepard, but it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And the 43. So Way to go, boys. Way to go. Complete to his receiver Godwin. Chris Godwin brings up third down. Unbelievable. He was met and dropped behind the line there. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Would have been right at about a 52 yard field goal try, but no, they are going to go for this thing on fourth down. No pass interference. Oh my God! Arians takes a shot there, but his guys come up empty, and the Giants are going to get the football back. The Giants' offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And last time, one play interception, so this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because yeah, and I would have really been up to Because <laughs> I, I, that's why I don't go for his stick too much. I want to play. I want to stay home. Maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Operating for the gun. Jones. Oh no! I thought my guy caught that! Oh, I knew you were going there! Right! Oh! I thought he was going to get that! Now Jones apparently a little unsure of everything here, so he steps back and signals for timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Here 
Jones gets it out quickly complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes just... That's all me. You both see the same thing, and he knows. Get down the numbers. There he goes. That, that was on me. That was terrible user on me. Forty yards, and the Giants are gonna take a first quarter lead. Boy, I tell you what, when you get a running back who can move like that in the open field, oh. that's something to take advantage of, and they certainly did there. All right, what's happening, boys? We screwing up again. I hate to use it, but I'm going to. We gotta get it together. something to say and according to next gen stats his top speed on that one better than 20 miles an hour and brady and the buccaneers here first and 10 at the 41 yard line and he'll throw right away man <laughs> okay i see what they're doing now that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Kyler Fackrell credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just certainly was. Direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Jabril Peppers deep to receive. He'll return it from the six. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at him turn. Are you kidding? 35 yards on the return. Picked up some good blocks as well. And it'll be giant football first and 10. They're on 41 yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They've got a 7 0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. From the gun, Jones escaping the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Gallman will run it. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Brings up second and nine. Now Goldman. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple. Down inside the 35 and the 34. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. Which is for Giants seven. Buccaneers nothing. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Operating from the gun, Jones. The Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. You and I watched film yesterday, and he told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try. All right. Damn, I'll boy, you know you can kick some field goal. <laughs> his mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork. I cannot kick field goals, and that is a flaw to my game. A 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration. Now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny when we prepare for a game? When you look at the backgrounds of these kickers. It's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Going on first down is Brady, and a first hookup with his All-Pro tight end Rob Gronkowski. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Now Brady. This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice... Oh, Jesus Christ! Why would he do that? Why would he do that? That's not even the route. Watch, he stopped and then went into another position. What was you moving for? The emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back, get the yardage, and really help out your offense. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. And he will take it on in. Oh, and then he just gets trucked right into the end zone. Alfred Morris taking it in. This has been a bad day. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite. A lot of time for it to get worse. I need to take me a nap. Collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you down. Want to. I mean, no, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three no flag, no nothing. You've done nothing offensively. Nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it. I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But let's face it. You mentioned this to me at a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating. To use a boxing analogy. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Oh, Jesus, I'm done. <laughs> if they don't keep cheating me like that, everybody was open on that play. Everybody was open. And now they're just going to cheat me like that. What's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Yeah, fatigue has hit me. I'm nice and sleepy now. Need to take me a nap. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely tired. <laughs> Damn. You beat me to sleep. And we'll see if they can do just that. Jones now throwing on first down, sliding out of the pocket. To Shepard, look at this. He got time to do all this stuff running around in the, the pocket. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. A handoff looking right, and that'll hurt the average a bit. There we go. Keep him down. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. A loss of two brings up second and 12. At the Bucks, 41 yards. On second and 12, Jones. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. All right, boys. That was just one of those interceptions from our perspective here. We got a good view at the 50-yard line mid-level that quarterback and receiver were not on the same page. Just by his reaction, I'm talking about the quarterback, he expected something different from his receiver, whether he expected him to... Pass interference three times. They'll determine that on the sideline, but bottom line, you could see that he thought he'd be in a different spot except the defender was not his intended target. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Kyler Fackrell, the linebacker. And it's a huge return as he brings this all the way.
way back down to the 15-yard line. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments, or the backup may see some time. Here's first and goal, and gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. Now whistles here and a flag down. Ball start. I think a giant jumped early. From back at the eight now after the false start, another Yeah, I'm a little sleepy, James. I played like four games in a row. Jones forced out to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. <laughs> Throwing Jones. They'll roll him out right. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Mm, mm, mm. Daniel Jones able to connect with Sterling Shepard. And the Giants add on to their lead. So he scrambled right, but was able to look back toward the middle of the end zone to find Yeah, it. we can hold in the field goals now. This is getting bad. Break the rules because we all know most guys throwing the football talk never throw It's only because I got sleepy. I right, take a nap before the Bears come on. Instincts sometimes, right? They just take over. Yeah. Envision. Sometimes you just see people who are open. Yeah, I hope they do beat the Saints. The yeah, that means Brady get the Brady get the broken down Rams. Yeah, that's what we need. Oh, are you kidding me? See what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying now? Big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're gonna get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you And now nothing but great. Now I'm like, if they throw that to the ground, I'm really gonna be pissed. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin, 75 yards. And the box are able to cut in now to that deficit. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in four pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Extra point put through by Suckham, and that'll make it 24 to 7. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And now consider the lead. The question is, how much is good enough? Are you going for more? It's the NFL. There's never enough, I believe, because they get reeled in all the time when you sit on the ball. I think that they will try and move the ball downfield, try and squeeze a few more points out of this first half. They'll be careful. They'll be a little bit cautious at times, but also they will attack downfield and try. This is caught inside the 15, and he will take it on in. Okay, my team on drugs. Evan Ingram, my team on drugs. Because uh, how the hell do you allow that? That was a throw of duck. And my team is the only players back there to get it. Two of them. And they just falling on the floor like they've been out partying all night. Where's the defense? I'm asking the same question. We finally get an offensive touchdown, and I guess they celebrated that so so hard, we couldn't get nothing else going. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back in. 
but you got to figure. We got one offensive touchdown. They was all right, boy. Let's go to the bar. Come back in the second half. Managing risk. This is a big decision here. And this one caught by Cameron Brain. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. Now Brady. And he's got this down to the 35. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. First down. Ball up to the Damn it! That's not what I wanted. Brady to throw again. Looking downfield for Godwin. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Leads to second and ten at the 35-yard line. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Throwing again, Brady. They're targeting Godwin once more, this time complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Now a timeout taken. Yeah, because I thought it was a touchdown. They almost finna fool me to believe it was a touchdown. We'll see. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. And now we'll get a late timeout. As it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They're going to go with the tight end here on the running play. Power on power, but he's not going to get in. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Yep, yeah, I'm going to need this. One back in the game, that's Jones, second and goal. The final shot before half for Brady. And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. <laughs> in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bucs are able to close the game. We had to make up for that ridiculous touchdown. That happened when they threw the hail mary. That was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Again here in the second, sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. Right, I came in to rush the quarterback and everything. I gave up on the coverage, the whole nine. That's part of what we're seeing here. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best. As that brings us to the end of this. All right, we can come back, boys. Game ain't no. Game ain't no. A lot of ball game. A lot of ball game. continued our EA Studios in Orlando. Here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports halftime report. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. And this will make it into the end zone. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The drive begins with a handoff to Gallman. And he will lose you. Good tackle. Be backed up to the 24. Good He'll tackle. He almost got the corner on you, and I was going to be real mad about that. Early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Lock it down, boys. Call holding. Gets it to the 30. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitz. Oh, come on. That's my pick. That's my pick. Come on. No. No. That's my pick. Oh, OK. 
okay. We got a game. Facing this big first half deficit, they keep the field goal unit on the sideline. They're going for it. They'll try and throw for it here. And down he goes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad you felt that way. <laughs> I threw a dart to him. Not no lob. Oh, damn it. I didn't even get to pick my play. And that is why you got that. <laughs> I didn't get the chance to pick my play. I'm watching the replay over and over with you. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Here's Golden. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. And he got half of what he needed there. Two yards. Oh, yes. We're doing that quite well. Will he do it again? Oh, <laughs> I was like, will he do it again? <laughs> Man. Yeah, it was a great punt. Horrible return. Man, I'm so mad about that play, man. I, I had that whole play right where I wanted it to go. And got just set to begin their next possession. It's cool though. Last time was it pretty? One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Fired that one in there. Able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection if you miss might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it. And he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And he's going to go down. I waited. I screwed that whole play up. Because I zoned in on one guy. Home and takes him down for a loss of nine. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Another try after the first down sack. Brady. And a quick throw here. That's complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Brady. Complete. He finds Brady. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And even 30 yards on a play that began back at the 30. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say, take it one play at a time. But the truth is, they're probably going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. And he is going to be glitch. taken down. Right when I'm going to score a touchdown, we glitch. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never 
Wow. Right when I'm about to score a touchdown, here come the glitch. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Oh my god. That's illegal contact. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, to be frank, CD, this is getting tough to watch. I mean, you feel for him, but six interceptions, that's at a whole new level. It's not a good level. It makes it tougher and tougher to come up with ways to try and support him. But you have to as a team because you can't just throw your quarterback aside. Where, what is this bullshit? Come <laughs> on, oh, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> so after the 6-1, one of the defensive players went to the quarterback and said, here's what you do. Man, I, I've probably never been robbed like this in a long time. That's just mean. I don't know that I. I know I'm sleeping right now. Probably pretty fragile. And they'll give it here to his running back. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. My D did their job, and this happened. You have up front say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Officially, it's a one yard. Oh, yeah, it's a wrap over now. We, we blew it. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Off the play fake. Jones rolling to his left. Bull! <laughs> that was some straight up bull ish. Frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing. Just chucked it free. Yeah, live to fight another down, right? Now Jones on third down. And Ingram holds it in. And past the 40. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they gave him that. Receiving now as he's got a first down. Can I get this time to the tailback? Oh, now he's going to get past me. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, now he ain't the there. The and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. The Giants on third down, two for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They get nine out of that one. Oh, the the that. The continues. Starting to feel a little to me like the air is coming out of the balloon, so to speak, defensively. They're taking their will from them right now. That's what they're doing. Whatever they want to call, it's working. They're handling things up front. And it's not just the offensive line. It's everyone. You're seeing the guys on the perimeter blocking downfield and making sure that they're secure. So, yeah, you're exactly right. The air is out of the balloon. And right now, they're almost lifeless. Being chased out left. And this is incomplete. They are certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter? And he will take it on in. Oh, wow. Touchdown. Yeah, my defense tied. 16 yard touchdown. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. Is it okay if I break one? I'm tired. I feel my team. Flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. We can't even make the punter fumble. Here, trying to make sense of what I just saw. Number one, huge lead. Just kick the extra point and be done with it. Number two, if you are going to go for two, just line up and go for it from the two-yard line. Why make it so difficult? That's a long way to go to try and pick up some points. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Yeah, I'm just tired. The Tampa offense really I haven't been up playing. And they had a nice this is the, the this because this game here is probably the furthest we've ever been 
from each other is in a game. I had plenty. And I blew it. I had plenty of chances and blew this day. That's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah. Will they make up for it? Ever since I scared Gavin off, you know. And Brady, the tight end's got it. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 22 yards there, a first down. Now Brady. He's going to let it fly. Oh, Jesus. Really? And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a Yeah, I'm kind of tired of beating Gavin, you know. To throw again. They don't really do nothing for me. And brought in by Brady. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 21. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So signs of life in what's been a he said now he's acting like Here's first and ten. Now he's got it. And he's into now he's acting as if uh, I didn't you know ask him to play. I asked him first. You was on there. He said what? I ain't home. After I'd have been whooping him all these games. Oh really? What? Well, that's what Gavin do. He just talk, talk, and talk. Just tired of beating on him, you know. All right, he's trying to take credit for your victory. You know, you won, and he's trying to take credit for it. See, that's what that's what people who lose do. You know, they want to take credit away from the people that actually playing the game because they can't do it. Now nah, he's got this imaginary win streak in his mind. It's okay, Gavin. We believe you. How many people in here believe Gavin? How many people in here believe Gavin? Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. There we go, finally. <laughs> Zero, not me. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a trap. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Right. We coming alive with 20 seconds to go in the game. <laughs> now they want to play. <laughs> now they like, we got this. to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. And we got the onside kick. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. The team is coming to life <laughs> when the game is over. <laughs> he said this is crazy. And the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. Right, he threw it directly to him. <laughs> Look, there's Gavin trying to take credit for somebody else's victory. It's okay, Gav. We get it. But you didn't mention it's a wrinkle in their We get it, Gav. We get it. Maybe one day you'll get a victory, man. And not much of an opening there as he's only going to get this to about the 32. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second. And right. You should play Gavin next. If, but wait a minute. He's not home. So a victory here he's doing all this talking, but he ain't home. Giants, and they were really helped by their defense. <laughs> Good game. I think what we saw in this one. Yeah, I got sleepy in the middle of the game, man. In the old days. Pitching shutouts was big time. Yeah, you should play Gavin. Gavin, you want to play Jamil? Holding down their yardage, right? Or are you still not home? But now, it's about taking the ball away. 
taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. Do you want to play Jamil, or are you still not on? See, look, dang, then why are you in here talking? You have no frame of reference. <laughs> I'm with my family watching football. Then go watch football. <laughs> yeah, talking about I'll play at seven. See, he's doing all this talking like he's ready to pick up the stick. Maybe one day you will win, Gavin. Your your day is coming. You might win. You get you're gonna be getting good. Maybe you could beat me, Bear or Jamil. Everybody on here remember when I beat you seventy six to sixteen. They watched that game. Yeah, we made a comeback and made it respectable. But the game was really not as close as the score indicates. <laughs> Too many mistakes early. We had so many opportunities. Russian yards, three. That's what we love. Yeah, I had a bad second quarter. And you see, since the second quarter, when I got sleepy, we turned things around. I scored 14 in that quarter. But still, he scored 24, which was not supposed to happen. He got out of control. So in the second half, we started coming back. We blew the third quarter. Had so many opportunities to score. Then, you know, we scored two touchdowns in the fourth to give ourselves a chance. To look respectable. We even got the onside kick. Uh, let me see. Passing yards. There we go. We dominated the passing yards. First downs were about the same. Punt return yards. He's killing us there. Kick return yards. I actually punted in this game. That's how focused I was at first. And I got sleepy. I'm going to take me a nap before the Bears game come on. All right, guys. Don't forget, go to the Carcino for Life channel. See some of the videos. Uh, subscribe to that page. Uh, subscribe here. I guess everybody is subscribed that's here. We will do the Cobra Kai review later for the season. That will be tonight. I might stream yard that one. Don't know yet. But good game, man. Yeah, I got to figure you out, man. You a mystery. I got to figure out. That one game is coming. I got to get ready for the Bears game now.